Good morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. It's Friday morning. It's seven o'clock. We've been up. We've ushered Brendan along and he's just gone to work. Lee's just taken him. It's his first day. It's a trial day at a job through an agency. I'm really nervous for him. I'm sure it'll go fine and he seems fine, but I'm really nervous for him. It's a big step. It's a big step. Yes. It's also the first job that he's organised and we've not had a hand in. There's been no quiet background conversation with a member of staff saying, just to remind you, he's autistic. <laughs> I'm assuming they know this. I'm assuming it was on a form somewhere. But it's just, it's a big thing when any child fledges the nest a bit, but... When there's one that you've had to kind of support the whole way through in this way, it's, it's an odd feeling. Anyway, anyway, I'm having a cup of tea. I made everyone a cup of tea this morning. So I'm having my tea and then I'm going to throw some clothes on, pack up the last bits like the food for Spog. Uh, I think that's all I need to pack. I've got a bag of clothes down there. I'm only going till Monday, so it's not like, you know, I'm away forever. But I like to make sure I've got everything I might need. Um, yeah, and then I hit the road. Hit the road. Daryl's going to be up there at about 11, he said. So I want to kind of get there a similar time. Oh, excuse me. But at the same time, I don't want to hit rush hour traffic. I was going to leave really early. Um... I think I'm going to hit rush hour traffic probably for the next few hours, aren't I? So, I don't know. We'll see. When I'm ready, I'll leave. That's a lot of waffle, wasn't it? I'm nearly at 2,400 subs. The last 100 subs, well, to be fair, the last 150 subs have been like a real steady daily growth. Um, and it's been lovely to watch. It has been really lovely to watch. Just, I'm not used to it. Like this real steady growth. I, I tend to have a, a bulk of people come and then a pause. And then a bulk of people and then a pause. So this is really strange. But lovely. So welcome to all my new subs. Thank you for finding my part of YouTube interesting and coming and watching. Um, yes very exciting stuff so thank you i'm on the road it's half past eight uh lee took brendan to work while i was getting my stuff ready and waited outside for 10 minutes and he didn't come back out again so fingers crossed it's all good um yes it's all good it's just growing up it's growing up no more school just seen a man stood outside my house talking to one of the neighbors that lives in the houses behind and he looks like a guy I dated I don't think it's the same guy but it does look like him he did give me a funny look as I pulled out but I've got my sunglasses on so he wouldn't recognize me and I wasn't blonde when he dated me either or was I blonde <laughs> anyway, I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure he's not moved into the village or anything weird like that. That would be uncomfortable. Right. Let's go. Come on, Spog. We've got four days of fun.
Did I bring the weather or did you? You're in Derbyshire, it's really on a par with the Lake District. Okay. Yeah. Hi! You take me to all the best places, don't you? I try my best. Look at that view. So what's that? Viaduct? Train line? What does it say? Oh, train line. Tell me some history. What is it? It was the Midland Railway Line. It was the Midland Railway Line. As I say on our videos, I'm reading this. Okay. Which ran from 1863 to 1968, connecting that London to Manchester. That London? The Where's viaduct? Manchester from here then? That way. Oh, okay. It's not far away. The viaduct is 300 feet long and has five 50-foot span arches, making it one of the most impressive viaducts in Britain. How Britain. do you remember all this stuff? I know, yeah. So I should have been an actor. It amazes me that you just retain this information. <laughs> what river is near here? The can Dove. You... Well, I wasn't thinking of that one, actually. I was thinking of another one you can see. Why? Well, because I was asking. <laughs> <laughs> no, the River Why? Is that that one down there? That's that one down there. That's the River Y that you can see running through the valley was important during the Industrial Revolution as it powered the cotton mills at Cressbrook and Lytton. Hmm. Today the river is a vital habitat for birds, cool, buzzards and ravens. Mm. Exciting stuff. It is very beautiful. There is a petition is there? to reopen it as a railway line. And then you wouldn't be able to walk along exactly. it, I take it? So, Surely there's, it gets more... A, a counter petition. A counter petition. Okay. So oh, it's a counter pe petition. 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 <laughs> Petitioning the petition. Petitioning against the petition. Right. To petition it to be Could a... we partition this? <laughs> <laughs> well, that is another, to the, another the, the talk of partitioning it. Partitioning it so you can have a railway, have a railway and, and a cycleway. I think that's the best one. Less petitions, more partitions. Very good. Would you like to see it from another angle? Yes, I would. I'm seeing it from a different angle. Is that not the angle you meant? No. no. But not the angle you meant. It's not the angle he meant. That's very pretty. Was that a mill then? That was a mill. Yeah. Which is why it's called New Mills here, yes? Yeah, there was an older mill than the New Mills, but the New Mills was when the cotton industry started. When we... So it used to be called Old Mills and now it's got a new mill, it's a New Mills. <laughs> I like that. Rushy water. That's the railway line from Manchester to Sheffield. Cool. Can you get down there onto oh, the walkway? Yeah, going down Are we going down there? Ooh. Like I said, you take me to all the best places. Not that a bad place to uh, to grow, grow up, up, is it? No. Is this the uh, the life of Daryl no. through the eyes of Pip? <laughs> Tell me about your life. How long have you got? <laughs> Little old stone buildings. So was that a railway? What's up there? No, that's the road bridge. That's that the road bridge. Up. Oh, is it? Yeah. So I was saying about something unusual. This, this is the gorge. This is the yeah. This is where Tor Mill stood. It was built in 1790 by the Schofield family. In order to harness the waters of the fast flowing rivers in the gorge, a series of weirs were built. The highest of these can be seen from the bridge. We can't see it because we're down here. Can we see it over here? Oh, there you are, from this bridge. There you go. It's very noisy now, you won't be able to hear me. The highest of these can be seen from the bridge. Tor Mill was originally driven by water 
carried along a leet and aqueduct from a weir upstream. Following a fire in 18... what's that? 38? Caused a substantial hardship among some local families, the mill was rebuilt and considerably extended. At around that time, a steam engine, steam engine was added to the complex and that chimney that I showed you, that one there, standing against the wall, was completed in 1846. Cotton production on the site ceased in 1890 and the machinery was removed. So it was a cloth factory, yes? Yes. Yes. Well, the cotton mill and then it came a cloth cutting firm. So it was a cotton mill and then a cloth cutting firm. History with Pippa. There you go. Oh, that's cool. Apparently, that there powers the local supermarket. It is called Archie the Screw. He's a hydro screw. Our comedian screws have been used for thousands of years, but it is a recent idea to use them to generate renewable electricity. It's a hydroelectricity scheme using a reverse Archimedean screw which turns when water flows down to generate electricity. Archie, as the screw is named, was one of the first reverse Archimedean screws to be installed in the UK and started generating electricity in September 2008. How cool is that? Profits made by selling the electricity are used to support education, local community regeneration and sustainability projects. That is very cool. Making money for your community. Let me out! Oh. <laughs> Apparently, so Daryl has just told me, this bridge commemorates a local doctor who actually delivered Daryl. Take it, he died in 1984. No, he died about 1980. Oh, right. Well, and then the they got the bridge. He was one that wanted campaign to open it up as a bit of a park. Oh, did he? So he, he wanted yeah. this to be seen by everybody. Yeah, and it was quite derelict and just overgrown and overlooked, yeah. really. Making it a feature. Yes. Apparently this is the ruins of another mill called Rock Mill. That there is a swizzles factory where you would swizzle where you'd be swizzling yes where you'd where you'd get is that where swizzle sticks come from as well that with the no, stuff in it no, I, don't know. I, don't I think know. they must do and love hearts and those palmer little violets. palmer violets and those fizzers or whatever they're called the little multicolored things i think it is swizzle sticks where you dip them into the pack of uh that stuff that makes your tongue all tingly. Sherbet. Sherbet. That's it. Swizzle sticks.
Carol's taken me on a moonlight wander. <laughs> In the wind. It's not too bad at the moment. To Robin Hood Stride, did you say? Robin Hood Stride, yes. Stride. Okay. And Why then, is it a stride? Because it's a big step between the two. Oh, okay. It's Robin Hood who's not Robin Hood. Robin Hood. Not the Robin Hood, Robin yeah. Hood with so his merry men. Stride is about a giant. Okay. Apparently he was stood atop the stones and stride between the two. Okay. Down there is a stone circle called Nine Stones Close. Even though there's only four stones there. Okay, because somebody couldn't count. But the story goes that it was like the fairies. Okay. And they were dancing. Prancing and dancing. Prancing and dancing. And looked up and saw Robin Hood. Okay. The giant. Yeah. A wee. He was having a wee. And they immediately turned the fairies to stone. God, some impressive urination. I know, isn't it? Just... Wow. He's not there now, is he? I don't fancy right. standing out in this field forevermore. No, I think How, I think how do we get to him? Not that way. That way. Don't look at a, a giant weeing, is no. the moral of the story. I think it's because his willy was so big, I don't know. Is so, that what it was? Uh, yeah, well, willy might have been. Yes, well, I never. Will I never? Willy, willy, I never. There's will a step here. Should I have gone over this step? Oh, that's the one. Yes. Oh, well, this I never get lost, do I? Do you I? know, there is no point asking this man for directions. We went about 17 miles in the wrong direction <laughs> because he took a wrong turn, taking me on a scenic route. I'm good at directions. He's really not. It's not your strong point, is it? Directions? No, and I can't read maps either. You're stuffed then. We are going up there. Oh, it's getting dark. She's going up. This is called the seal pose. While you rest, momentarily. <laughs> pose into crab yeah seal pose that's it bring your leg up like crab excellent see job done well done that man Windy. Have you found a good spot? It's a nice little seat here, yeah. Shady. Uh, it's so windy. <laughs> yes, we can't stay long, can we? No, that would be most dangerous. It's all right, I'll three word myself so people at least know where I died. I don't think it looks like a crown of a tooth. It does look like the crown of a tooth, it looks like a mammoth's tooth. I hope you have found today's video incredibly entertaining. I'm actually currently sleeping off a food coma. Too much kebab and chips. So there's no cooking video today I'm afraid because I had kebab meat and chips. He made me have a large. <laughs> I always... <laughs> Not my glasses on. Oh. I always like to give it large. Was was that a, was that a, like a sneaky what have you? People don't see you in your glasses. No, they don't. Is, does that mean that you've now ruined your Superman? Oh yes, that's it. Secret now, people, identity. We, people now know who I am. Mm. My other me. Hold on, I'll just get my underpants out. No, please don't. <laughs> I want to go to bed, but I've got to stay up and wait for Keith to arrive. And he's not here yet, he's is he? He's not here yet, and it's nearly 10 o'clock. It's nearly 10 o'clock. Hurry up, I want to go to bed. I've got to drive to my bed spot. <laughs> right. What three words? I don't know, I don't care. What, what One of them had an axe in it. <laughs> murder, knifing, Mur and murder. One. Yes, I'm, I'm sleeping in a lovely spot tonight. With three murder, word murder app. knifing toilet or something was it? outhouse murder <laughs> yes it wasn't murder 
But I decided that if I'm going to use the three word app to keep myself, you know, as well, not safe, but, you know, share the words with my family so they know exactly where I am, that I'm now going to only pick spaces that don't have dangerous items or murderous sounding names to them. And one of them I absolutely refused to park in because it sounded like I'd get killed in my sleep. So that completely cut that one out. Machete cut through. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah, this doesn't sound like the sort of place I want to sleep. So, yes, I'm going to go and sleep somewhere like Butterflies Meadow Angels or something, you know, <laughs> something nice and delicate. Anyway, thank you for watching, you lovely lot, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Now you've got to go. Mm. <laughs>